browser today. With so many devices connected to the internet, we require some mechanism to uniquely identify every device that is connected to the internet. For sending a data packet from source computer to destination computer on a network, it is required that both nodes have their own unique address. We also require some centralized system which take care of this mechanism so that the signs which are used to identify each device are not duplicate, else the whole purpose is defeated. To take care of this, we have a centralized authority known as Internet Assigned Numbers Authority, which is responsible for assigning a unique number known as IP or Internet Protocol Address. An IP address is a 32-bit binary number which is divided into four octets and each octet consists of eight binary digits and these octets are separated by a dot. Each eight bits in the octet can have two binary values that is zero and one. Therefore, each octet can have minimum value of zero that is eight zeros to maximum value 256 that is all ones. And in total, we have two raised to power eight that is 256 different combinations. Again, to remember this 32 bit addresses in binary is a bit difficult. So for better understanding of a human being, it is expressed in a decimal format. But this decimal format is for human understanding only and the computer understand it in binary format. In decimal, the above IP address is expressed as 123.45.78.125. These octets are used to create and separate different classes. An IP address consists of two parts that is network and host. Network part identifies a particular network among different networks and the host part identifies a device of a particular network. This address uniquely identifies a devices connected to the internet Similar to the postal system where we identify any house by first identifying the country, then state, followed by district, post office, cluster or block, and finally the house number. 